Now what we're going to do real quick is we're going to render a couple of stills from each view just to make sure that things look okay. So we'll go in here. The other thing you want to do, I'm going to hit Control 9 and go back to Textured View. You want to clear all your ambient properties from your surfaces so that the lighting, the preset lighting that comes with the Movie Maker works right. And then we're also going to clear all of the reflections off of the surfaces. This will improve our render time. We also have the option to select the shadow types we want. We can go with none, which is great for like a preview render if you want to see how things are going to look. You can use your deep shadow map, which means you'll have to calculate the shadow every frame. Um, depending on what's in your scene, this can be real fast or real slow. I happen to prefer ray traced for sunlight. And there's just one little caveat if you're going to use the ray trace. Do you want to go in here and look at this hair prop? and because we have a lot of polygons in here that use transparency mapping on them that's going to render really slowly with our ray trace shadows unless you just go and grab that hair prop and turn cast shadows to off this means that the um, lighting is not really going to see the hair prop which means that those ray trace shadows are going to be ignored by the hair which is kind of noticeable if you're really looking at your shadow lines, but for a quick animation like this, I don't think anybody's going to see it. And we're going to shave precious seconds off of every one of the uh, frames in this animation, of which we have 429. So if we can save two seconds on every frame, that's going to translate into well over 10 minutes off of our final render time. So we're just going to render a couple of test frames. We'll take frame one. Go back over to our Movie Maker tab, come over here and hit Render Frame, and we'll see how fast that frame renders. Yeah. As you can see, once it gets started, it goes really, really quick. And we're running 18 seconds for that frame. Let's grab another frame. From this sequence here, I want to see how long that takes to render. Render frame. And you always want to, if when you're going to render a frame, you know, you want to go out of habit and just come up here and click on the render icon from the top of your screen. You don't want to do that with Movie Maker because when I hit render frame from Movie Maker, what it's going to do is turn the shadow plane on and do all of the Movie Maker lighting adjustments that it does to render the frame. Now, I mean, this actually doesn't look really good and if I were doing this for a real movie I would probably um, get a little bit more involved with altering the lighting and stuff here for but for our purposes it's gonna do and we'll just scrub on through the timeline here a little bit we know that these don't take too long I wanted to look at one of these see how long that takes see mistake you want to go over here and hit render frame. And we'll get a clock out on this one. We're pretty much coming in at 16 to 18 to 20 seconds per frame on this. So if we want to get an idea pop this guy out. We'll do one more render. I want to get an idea of how long this is actually all going to take. We can simply go in and open up our calculator. Right. We know we have 429 frames. So 429 times, well, let's say, 17 seconds per frame is 7,093 seconds divided by 60 gives us 121 minutes 121 and a half minutes divided by 60 again just for fun and this tells you that it's going to take slightly over two hours to render these 14 seconds of animation at 30 frames per second at 640 by 480 which for a complex scene like this is actually really really good so I'm going to go ahead and render this movie out so that I have it to use as a bumper in front of and behind this instructional video. And we'll show you how to do that. Render movie. 
and it's just going to go through and start rendering the frames on the timeline. Now one thing you want to be sure of is if you're like me, we'll cancel out of here, usually I'm set up to render still images, right? I mean that's usually how I work. If you're always rendering animations then yeah it's definitely going to be set up like we just saw for you but if you're usually rendering still images you're going to find that you're set up to render still images and when you go to hit render movie you're going to get a little warning message that tells you that your render options are not set up for animation because you need to go in to your render settings tell you want to make a movie to find your start and end frames and to find a movie file that you're going to render to and you got to be careful about that because movie maker will just go ahead and render over whatever file name is there so you maybe want to give it a different name we'll call it movie maker test 2 save and accept and then go back over here and go to render movie and now it's going to start rendering out the frames one after another and at the end of it you'll have the option to save the movie and that's really all there is to it to making this quick dance video I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video, and if you have any questions relating to this video, you can always hit the Dreamlight Tech Support Forum on the DAZ forums in the Nuts and Bolts section, or if you're a Dreamlight Members Club member, you can post a topic in the Animation Forum at Dreamlight, and I will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have on this. Once again, this is your host, Mike Ambruso, and on behalf of everybody at Dreamlight, I'd like to thank you for purchasing the Dreamlight Movie Maker product and for being such great customers. Thanks.